Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Chinese President Xi Jinping today held their first bilateral meeting after the Doklam standoff. The two leaders reaffirmed that maintaining peace and tranquility in the border area was a prerequisite for ties to move forward. PM Modi in his speech at BRICS had said that for creating a safer world, there needs to be organized and coordinated action on at least three issues and which include counter-terrorism and cyber security. Creating a greener world by taking concentrated action on countering climate change through initiatives such as the International Solar Alliance, India completed the first voluntary natural review of SDGs. The bedrock of our development agenda lies in the notion of we have mapped each of the SDGs to our own development programs and schemes, both at the federal level and state level. And PM ne badalte vakt me digital hone ki zarurat par bal diya. Creating an inclusive world by economic mainstreaming of our people, including in the banking and financial system, creating a digital world by bringing the digital divide within and outside our economies. Foreign Secretary S. Jai Shankar briefing the media said there was a forward-looking and constructive approach taken by the both sides during an hour-long meeting. Jai Shankar said the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the President Xi Jinping felt that there should be a closer communication between the defense and security personnel of India and China. Foreign Secretary said the two leaders reaffirmed that it is in the interest of both India and China to have good relations. Modi and Xi reaffirmed the understanding reached earlier this year at Astana between them to not allow differences to become disputes. The, the approach of the two sides has a forward-looking approach uh, and I think uh, essentially the discussions themselves are very constructive uh, about where the relationship uh, uh, should be going and will be going. Uh, now, uh, uh, there was, uh, I, I think, uh, 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 sort of uh, a reminder that at Astana uh, in early June uh, we had both agreed that uh, we would not let uh, differences uh, become uh, disputes uh, and that uh, at a time when the world was changing we would uh, uh, make sure that India-China relations were a factor of stability. So I think in many ways that was uh, uh, reaffirmed. Uh, uh, I, I think, uh, uh, again, one of the important points which was made during the meeting was that uh, peace and tranquility in the border areas was a prerequisite for the further development uh, of our relationship uh, and that uh, uh, there should be more effort made uh, to really enhance uh, and strengthen the level of mutual trust uh, between the two sides. Uh, there would be, you know, it is, it is natural that between neighbors uh, and large powers that there would be areas of difference. Uh, but where there is an area of difference, it should be handled with mutual respect and efforts should be made to find common ground uh, in addressing uh, those areas. Foreign Secretary said the two leaders felt that peace and tranquility in the border area is a prerequisite for ties to move forward. Uh, and specifically with regard to uh, defense, uh, that the personnel involved with defense and security uh, must maintain strong contacts and cooperation uh, and uh, ensure that uh, the uh, sort of situations which happened recently uh, do not recur. Uh, the uh, President and the Prime Minister again laid out a very uh, uh, positive view of where our relationship could go. In his initial remarks during the meeting, Modi congratulated Xi on very successful BRICS summit. China's state-run news agency reported that Xi told Modi that two countries should pursue healthy and stable bilateral ties. I think the, uh, the counter-terrorism issues were largely taken up in the discussions leading to the BRICS. 
uh, they were not uh, addressed uh, in today's meeting. Uh, and the broad sense of those discussions really was that, you know, most countries uh, feel very similarly about the challenges posed by terrorism. So uh, this, this was not just an India uh, position. It was, a, it was a common position. And many other countries had uh, actually uh, equally strong uh, views uh, on this. So uh, the, the listing that you see and the uh, statements and commitments which are there in the BRICS statement, these are co common commitments of all. But I, I would say, uh, uh, you know, there was a... Uh, on both sides, there was a sense that, you know, more efforts need to be made to ensure that uh, these kinds of situations don't recur.